Lopez, and I will be um, informing you about um, Teenage Girls Disappearing in Cuyacán, Sinaloa. So I would like to begin with some information I found, which says, according to Ortiz 2020, um, teenage girls between 19 and 22 years old usually get, are most likely to get kidnapped or killed by, or disappeared. And um, on about the cases that are known, 90% of the missing women do not get found. Their bodies are not found, sad, sadly. So um, first I would like to be, I would like to share with you guys um, what girls do that live in Culiacán to feel safe, what when they go out, what they take with them, and things like that. Secondly, I want to talk about how it relates to drug cartels, how the disappearing um, uh, missing bodies uh, or disappearance of teenage girls relate to it, and then it relates to drug lords. And then lastly, I would like to state how um, the families struggle for justice for their victims and their loved ones. So I would like to go into the first topic, which according to two teenage girls I talked to, uh, I am actually um, from Wasabi, Sinaloa, which is two hours away from Culiacan, Sinaloa, and I have friends there. They actually told me that they always carry pepper spray with them. They always try to walk with someone that is a guy just to feel secure. And then lastly, they try to get home by sunset. If they work overnight, they decide to get in a call with someone that they know just to feel um, secure and safe. Maybe having someone in the phone makes them feel like less scared. And then I have something that according to Villanueva 2019, parents decide to take their kids all the way to the entrance of a school just to feel, make them feel secure and risk and not risk um, getting kidnapped or letting, losing them. And then I have a quote that is in Spanish and I will be translating, which says, Las jovencitas viven en estos días con el temor y deciden dejar la escuela para, um, y si salen, salen con miedo y armadas. Um, Villan Villanueva 2019. This means that um, teenage girls decide to not attend school just because they feel scared. And if they do go out, they go out with things like pepper spray, as I mentioned earlier. And then lastly, I want to state that, um, sorry, now that I've given you this information about teenage girls, um, what they do to feel safe in the city, I want to mention how it relates to drug cartels and how they have a big part in this. So um, usually drug lords or drug cartels, which sicarios, so these are the people who work for them and how they're called, um, they usually steal these girls for their um, how do you say it, the people they work for. Um, so they tend to steal them and then they find their bodies on lakes and next to the streets and on um, farmlands because Sinaloa has a lot of farmlands. They hide this, these bodies for them not to be found. And then according to the Ministry 19, 2000 bones, fragments were found in the outside of Culiacan. They were children and then um, teenage girls um, bones and then adult bones. But I'm going to be focusing on the teenage girls disappearance and this is so sad because um these girls were actually they were actually looking for them but they did not um they weren't able to find them and it is sad so lastly according to more 2020 the disappeared usually get kidnapped and really get killed and um authorities say that it is actually actually related to drug trafficking and then um sex trafficking also and women are forced to into the sex trade. So now that I have mentioned how it relates to the drug cartels, I want to mention on my next topic on how the families struggle to get justice for these um, victims that they actually lost. Um, so I have three quotes. My first quote is that disappearance are also related to the part between, sorry. So, sorry, I got confused. Disappearance, um, is related to a pact that the government has with the um, criminals, which is the drug lords. Um, there is a pact. We know that Mexico is a really corrupt. There are shows that can prove it and real stories that can prove it. Um, authorities usually just say what the people want to hear, but they don't actually do anything. Um, so I'm going to read a, a quote in Spanish and then translate it that says, las, inve las investigaciones se dan de manera lenta y la mayoría de las desaparecidos no son localizados. Arriba del 54%, Bustamante 
um, ND. This means that um, the investigations are moved slowly and the disappeared um, are not found and 54% of these disappeared are not found. My next one is also in Spanish, which I'll be translating. It says, um, un colectivo de madres rastradoras de desaparecidos llamados subusos guerreras fueron atacados a balazos en los alrededores de Culiacancito. Terror en Culiacán agredieron a balazos a un grupo de madres que buscan a sus hijos desaparecidos. 2021. This means that um, a group of mothers that were looking for their missing children or daughters um, got um, killed and gunshots because of what they were doing. So this is so devastating. I would like to share an image with you guys now and explain it's a protest that is taking place in Culiacán, Sinaloa that says, Quiero luchar por mis sueños, no por mi vida. This means that she wants to fight for her dreams and offer her life, that it is more, it's more for her, it's more for her to lose her life than um, set her goals and actually um, do them. So my next thing is that no nací mujer para morir por serlo. So this means that she was a poor woman just to die because she is one. And then um, another one that caught my, my eye says, por mis sobrinas que en un futuro vivan sin miedo. This means that for her um, nieces that um, for them not to be, live in the future with it. So with this today, I have tried to share the importance of the this topic that really interests me about the missing girls or disappearing girls, teenage girls that live in Culiacán, Sinaloa, Mexico. So first, I try to explain on how um, teenage, what they do to feel safe, and then I try to say what the drug lords, how it relates to it, and then lastly, how families struggle to, with the victims and how um, they don't get really justice. And I want to end with a quote that's in Spanish and then finish with it in English. So it says, La violencia de Jamaica no verlas, deja feminicidad. Violence leaves marks, but not seeing them leaves femicides. Espacio Multicolor 2021. Thank you for listening to my presentation.